Princess Kate looks stunning in sapphire earrings worth 30,000 pounds that she wore on a Vogue cover. On November 15, Princess Kate gave the keynote address at the Shaping Us conference, making sure that everyone was staring at her gorgeous attire. Princess Kate made what some royal aides have referred to as the biggest speech of her life as she took the stage at the Shaping Us National Symposium, which she is organizing in conjunction with the Royal Foundation Center of Early Childhood. As Kate took the stage, she exuded confidence in her stunning purple cord suit by Amelia Wickstead, the newest addition to her vibrant suit collection. She accessorized her ensemble with blue heels and drop sapphire and diamond earrings. Details about the 30,000 pounds earrings, which were previously worn by another well-known royal on the cover of Vogue, were revealed by the jewelry specialists at Stephen Stone. Princess Diana wore the earrings, which have two Kabukan sapphire droplets encircled by diamond halos, on the 1994 fashion magazine cover. Additionally, Kate wore them in 2022 for the final trooping for Queen Elizabeth, which was conducted just three months before her death. Zach Stone, managing director of Stephen Stone, stated, Kate Middleton is a style icon who always finds the ideal item to pair with her looks. She is renowned for her ability to effortlessly merge new trends with a traditional and refined taste. The Princess of Wales wore sapphire and diamond drop earrings today to go with her chic purple outfit. The earrings in the cluster style are especially poignant because they belong to Kate's late mother-in-law, Princess Diana. Diana wore them to the Met Gala in 1996 and on the cover of Vogue in 1994, among other occasions. Kate didn't wear the earrings until she made a public debut at the 2022 Trooping the Color Parade, following Diana's tragic death. Featuring two Quebecan sapphire drops surrounded by diamond halos, I'd estimate the dazzling earrings to carry a value of 30,000 pounds. During her address, Kate boldly outlined her intentions for a worldwide manifesto that would establish a framework for the social and emotional work that children need to do in order to grow up to be the greatest adults that they can be. People often ask me why I focus my time on early childhood, she said in her opening remarks. The reason is that I genuinely care about changing the world for the better by lending a hand to the weakest and most in need people. This is about many young people and adults who are suffering not only the smallest children in our society who are by nature the most vulnerable. We must recognize and address the underlying causes of some of today's most difficult social challenges and collaborate to find better solutions, the princess continued. Therefore, it is imperative that we recognize that creating a healthier society entails fostering the fundamentals that uphold our children. From the regulations governing early childhood care to our attitudes toward those rearing the future generation and the assistance they receive. We can only bring about positive changes in society if we can establish a mindset that acknowledges the kid in every adult and the adult within every child.